Independent game development's been part of the Atari 2600 for decades, with its own scene and community of creators selling games, making games, and bringing physical versions of their games to sell at conventions. One of the more successful retro game content creators on YouTube is the immortal John Hancock, who's been dishing out solid retro advice for about 13 years. He's covered the VCS extensively, and with about 130,000 subscribers, he's got a big audience. Catacombs of Chaos was originally released by Hancock as a physical cart in 2015 as part of a fundraiser for the Children's Justice and Advocacy Center and sold at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. The game itself was programmed by Jason Santucci, who goes by the developer named Gemintronic. Hancock has distributed the game at the Expo and other conventions periodically ever since. The most recent physical release was in 2022 with updated artwork and gameplay. Catacombs of Chaos is a randomly generated dungeon runner where you dash through single screen rooms, pick up chests, find the Eye of Chaos, then make it back to the surface before dying. Getting there isn't intuitive as you can't memorize a map. Everything is randomly generated over time, so you run through levels until you find stairs, then take them till you win or die. There are potions to bring back your health and you'll take damage from walls of deadly fog and goblins that chase you. Finding yourself in the dark is common, and you'll either dash in the dark or wait for a flash to know where the exits are. It's possible to get stuck between two rooms where you don't have another exit. When that happens, you either wait until one of the rooms change or start a new game. Catacombs of Chaos can be beaten in about 10 to 20 minutes, and there really isn't a score or a leaderboards to give you another reason to play. That said, the game is a solid bit of old-school Atari fun, and a great example of small-scale development happening for the 2600. Hancock has released both Catacombs and another game called Retro Game Quest on the VCS for the first time digitally for a mere $3 each. Since Catacombs of Chaos is an Atari 2600 ROM, there isn't a game menu, saves, or other screens you might see with a regular release. The game does support the classic joystick and modern controller well. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks, including the newest game releases, a few blogs, and more. Liking helps spread the word about the channel, and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. Have fun!